Sein clárach a fáisnéise a bhaimar nár fad, agus tá luach fuile a bainte This year's nominees have brought us on compelling journeys through the lives of the people and indeed the animals with whom we share this island with. Shahid Naham Nakhon. Era Yon and Costa here. Time share frosso hui gosna, shkelgegiri, go kyun volne, dear Honel. Iglanu went and Jorasa, it a tear of a smir, Maragaster sail and dinner rena, it hooked no do it. John Connors, The Travellers. A group listened to the tales of my grandmother Chrissy about the history of travellers. I realise now how important their stories are. Passed on to her from generation to generation. And I'll make sure her stories won't be lost. Keeping Ireland alive. The health service in a day. So we're going to cut into the tumour now. And it might bleed a little bit. Let's give it a lash. The zoo. We've seen the baby feeding nearly straight away when we came in. Again, Lena, it's all to do with experience. Uh, she knows the exact uh, position to hold the baby, and we've already observed uh, the baby taking a drink, so you know exactly what we're looking for. And the IFTA goes to John Connors, the Travellers. Here we are again. Um, first of all, I want to thank Colm O'Callaghan in RT who understood the vision and supported it all the way. Couldn't have done it without you. Um, Lee McGrath, who was, you know, came to me with this idea, and I just, you know, I learned so much off this man on the journey, and it really was life changing for me, to be honest with you. Um, and the whole project was, you know, nothing like this was ever done before. It was really groundbreaking, collecting our history, all of us together, Travers doing it, you know, and it'll be there forever and it'll be saved and it'll never be gone for the next generation of children, you know? So on that note, it's positive, you know? But we can't forget what has happened to us as a people and what has still happened to us now, you know? In the 1963 report on intinacy, um, the commission, there was words in the commission that talked about the final solution to the itinerant problem. There was people that made suggestions like sterilize the women, take, the kids away from them, so there's one less in the itinerant class. And that sort of, them sort of assimilation policies and attitudes have carried on for this generation, you know? We're, we seem to be in the era of equality. Everybody's talking about equality. In Ireland, there seems to be a lot of human rights activists right now. And I wonder, where does human rights activists when a 14-year-old Aaron Joyce's dead body gets refused from a funeral home in Ashburn, you know? Or when traveler children are being put on the criminal da uh, database, consider criminals from birth or when 11 people are burned to death in Carrick Mines. And I arrived on that scene, and when I arrived on that scene, I figured out straight up that the council were at fault. And what happened two weeks ago? The DPP came back and said that they weren't at fault. Even though I arrived on, I arrived on site, and they rigged the electricity wrong, uh, they closed up the fire hydrant, uh, they put the, all the port cabins together, they broke all their own rules, they're at fault, but yet there's no justice. I wanna know where's the justice and equality for my people and the fight is going to go on. We're not giving up. And I hope you don't censor the speech as well. We're not giving up. I know it's not very popular, and it's not popular to fight for traveler equality. We're fighting for ourselves anyway. So thank you very much.